the second and ultimate warning about self-righteousness is that along with separating us from each other, it separates us from Jesus. Jesus says, I didn't come for those who always hit the center of the target. I came for you, you know, people who know that you miss the mark people who I know will leave my presence justified. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 11, such a great verse. The pride of people shall be humbled. This is about those who will not let God be their master. Those who will not lower themselves before their creator, and yet bow down to the work of their own hands. Yet, when the majesty of God is revealed in the thunderstorm and in the catastrophes of history, then, consciously or unconsciously, we must give God the honor that only God is due. I don't talk about this a whole lot, but the first prayer that I ever learned as a little teeny tiny boy was taught to me by my grandmother. She taught it to me and my sister and all six of our cousins in the language that she knew best because it was important to her. She wanted us kids to get it and the prayer to mean something to us, the same way it meant a lot to her. I can't say that prayer anymore in German, but my sister can. I wonder how many of my cousins can. My grandma taught us a prayer that meant something to her, meant everything to her, in a language that meant something to her, too, meant everything to her. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think about that being a crucial part of grace to go.